Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Medicine. Today the topic of discussion is esophageal cancer. So how we diagnose an esophageal cancer? The, the factors we look for the diagnosis of esophageal cancer are that the age of the patient uh, must be 50 or older and the dysphagia. Dysphagia is first for solids and then later progress to dysphagia for the liquids. As we have read in Ecclesia, the dysphagia for solids and liquids were at the same time but in... But in uh, but in esophageal cancer, uh, the dysphagia is first for the solids and then for the liquids. And it has an association with the prolonged alcohol and tobacco use. More than 5 to 10 years of GERD symptoms, the patient will be having the symptoms of gastroesophageal reflux disease for more than 5 to 10 years. Diagnostic test. Uh, for diagnosis, we have several options. Uh, first of all, it's endoscopy, then barium studies, CT scan, MRI, and PET scan. Endoscopy is the most accurate one since only a biopsy can diagnose a cancer. Barium might be the initial, best initial test, but as we know that no radiologic test can diagnose a cancer. CT and MRI. CT and MRI are done just to know the extent of spread into the surrounding tissue. PET scan and PET scan is uh, performed to see if the disease is local and it is resectable or it is metastatic or it cannot be resected. Treatment for the treatment of esophageal cancer, a surgical resection is always the thing to try. They say if it cannot be resected, then it cannot be cured. Chemotherapy and radiation they are used in addition to surgical removal. Stunt placement. Stunt placement is used uh, for the lesion that cannot be resected surgically. So a stunt is placed uh, in the esophagus just to um, improve the symptoms of the cancer and to improve dysphagia. So that was pretty much it about uh, esophageal cancer. Uh, meet you in another video. Thank you so much.